Hi guys, so as per a request, I'll be doing a few questions on staining, uh, which stains are used, what is immunostaining techniques, which stain is used for karyotyping. Adding to it all, I'll be adding a short, a very small short of gram positive and gram negative bacteria and the types of microtomes which are used. So this was basically for the DMLT students, that is the lab technician students. But yes, uh, anybody can benefit from it, be it MBBS, um, those pursuing PG and patho micro. So all the best. Okay, so our first topic is types of microtomes. Now what we have is basically we have nine types of microtomes. Uh, the most common and easily available that is the that has the hand wheel. Remember you move that wheel with your hand. So most common is the rotary microtome. Then we have ultra microtome. We have sledge, cryostat, rocking, vibrating, sledge like that is base sledge or sliding sledge. We have manual rotary and rotary rocking. These are the different basic common types of microtomes. So, in exam, anybody is asking you, can you enumerate or tell a few types of microtome? Yes, you know, rotary, ultra microtomy, sledge, cryostat, rocking, vibrating, sledge types. Okay, now we'll have just one liner of each. This is basically a video for the viva. So, what is uh, rotary? Rotary is the most common type of microtome. It has hand wheel. And the size of the section is 0 0.5 micrometer to 60 micrometers. Okay. 0 0.5 to 60. What happens in ultra? Ab nami, the name itself says ultra microtomy means it is ultra thin slices like 69 nanometers. Okay. Very thin, fine, ultra thin slices. Now we have the third type that is the sledge type. It is usually used for larger sam samples like brain and ophthalmology, etc. Cryo, the name suggests cryo means freezing or cold. Okay, cryostat. This is, for example, during the surgery, the doctor wants to check the um, specimen. Then what would they do? Apne pas time nahi hai. We are running out of time. So during surgery, an urgent basis, fata for freeze kya sample liya ana we are. Uh, making slides of it so that at that time we use cryostat microtome or the cold microtome then we have rocking vibrating is used for fresh live samples which are not fixed tissues which are unfixed okay then we have base sledge also known as sliding sledge manual rotatory again i said that circular motion the specimen we cut like a sharpener those round circular motion may slices cut okay and rot rotary rocking is one of the types of cryostats. So these are the basic types of microtomes that you should know. Now the second most commonly asked question is the staining procedure for H and E, or uh, what are the steps of hemotoxylin use in staining procedure? All right. So if simply, you steps to do. You go for de-waxing, dehydration. Hemotoxylin, differentiation, bluing, eosin, dehydration, clearing and last you add on the cover slip. Alright. These are the few steps of the procedure. Now exact procedure agar pushed hai. But before that, hemotoxylin means it will color the nuclei. It will be nuclei blue honge. Eosin will get due color the cytoplasm and the color will be pink. Thik hai? Hematoxylin will color the nuclei of the cell into blue color. While eosin will cover the cytoplasm into pink color. And depending on the concentration of this, it will pink shades. Now, here is the uh, entire step by step. How do you keep it in a minute? So first, because it is full of wax, we have to remove the wax. That is the first step was de-waxing. So we go for, we put the slide for 2 minutes in xylene. Again 2 minutes in xylene. Then we are starting our dehydration. How do you dehydrate? Ye upar se niche ki ho jaya. So this is descending method. 100% ethanol, 2 minutes. 100% ethanol, 2 minutes. 95% ethanol, 2 minutes. Then you wash it with water. Right? 
फिर आता है अपना थर्ड स्टेप दैट इज हीमाटोक्सिलिन सो इसके सोल्यूशन में तीन मिनट रखना है हाउ मच मिनट थ्री मिनट देन अगेन यू वॉश इट विद टैप वॉटर रनिंग टैप वॉटर फिर अपना डिफ्रेंशिएशन सो डिफ्रेंशिएशन कैन बी डन बाई अ माइल्ड एसिड ठीक है एसिड अल्कोहल में डिफ्रेंशिएशन एक मिनट देन यू अगेन वॉश इट विद वॉटर देन यू हैव टू यूज ब्लू इंग अगेन वन मिनट अगेन वॉश इट विद वॉटर एंड देन यू स्टार्ट नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट इथेनॉल वन मिनट उसके बाद अगर इफ यू नोटेड आफ्टर हिमाटोक्सिलन दैट सब कुछ दो मिनट जा रहा था एंड आफ्टर हिमाटोक्सिलन जिस फॉर थ्री मिनट एवरीथिंग इज गोइंग फॉर वन मिनट Now these two I have put a star here because these are the most important viva questions. Hematoxylin में कितने मिनट रखोगे? तीन मिनट, three minutes in hematoxy hematoxylin. And how many, how much time would you put it in eosin? Ideally, it should be only thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. So, but it will become easier for you. हेमाटो हेमाटोक्सिलिन में तीन मिनट और इोजिन में थर्टी सेकेंड्स ठीक है थ्री मिनट्स थर्टी सेकेंड्स फिर अगेन अपना असेंडिंग ऑर्डर में जा रहा है कम से हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन में नाइ फाइव परसेंट इथेनॉल वन मिनट वन मिनट वन मिनट फिर एक्साइलिन अगेन टू टू मिनट एंड लास्ट में यू पूरा कवर स्लिप एंड कवर अप सो आर स्लाइड इज रेडी और राइट एक्साइलिन टू एक्साइलिन अल्कोहल अल्कोहल बीच में वॉश देते रहो हिमाटोक्स हिमाटोक्सिलिन में तीन मिनट इोजिन में थर्टी सेकेंड अब क्या हो रहा है एच एन ई इज अ वेरी बेसिक स्टेन सपोज ए आस्क स्पेशल स्टेन किस चीज के लिए होते हैं कहा होता है सो यू हैव कनेक्टिव टिश्यू स्टेन यू हैव स्टेन्स फॉर द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स यू हैव कार्बोहाइड्रेट स्टेन यू हैव स्टेन फॉर पिगमेंट्स मिनरल एंड साइटोप्लाजम साइटोप्लाजमिक ग्रैन्यूज एंड लास्टली यू हैव फैट स्टेन we we'll just go through each of these stains in short. so I'll be talking about the stains in detail. we have the connective tissue stains. just enumerating them and if there's something very important, we'll go through. It. so we have Mason's trichrome stain, we have Verhoff's elastic stain, and reticulin stain. but out of all the connective tissue stains, the most important, the most commonly used. Supra IMP question for short note, viva, and in your exams is Gimza stain. Gimza stain is also known as Romanovsky stain or Romanovsky type of stain. It might also be known as right Gimza stain, and it is used in karyotyping. I have another video telling in detail about the Gimza stain. All right, so we'll move ahead. सेकेंड वाला था माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम को क्या क्या स्टेन करता सो वी हैव ब्राउन एंड हॉप स्टेन ए एफ बी अनादर सुपर आई एम पी क्वेश्चन फॉर वाइवा एंड थियोरी सो एसिड फास्ट बेसिलाइक स्टेनिंग किसे करेंगे इट हैज कार्बोल फ्यूशन विच कलर द लिपिड वॉल्स मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज फॉर ट्यूबर क्लोसिस एंड लेप्रेसी ठीक है अब टीबी को जो टीबी के बैक्टेरिया को जो कलर करेगा इट वी नोन जेल नीलसन मेथड of afb okay fine then we have gomori methanamine silver stain okay okay but another important question is your pass that is periodic acid shift stain and test all right so jahan pe bhi maine star banaya i'll be making another separate video on these stains so you are going to have a look at the gimza stains afb and pass What about carbohydrates? Which stains color the carbohydrates? We have the colloidal iron, alcyon blue, again pass, and musi carmin. These are the stains which color the carbohydrates. The fourth uh, uh, classification was the pigment, minerals, and cytoplasmic granules. Co consist stain करेंगे. So we have Fontana Masons for melanin. We have melanin bleach. We have iron stain. We have Van Cossa stain. fat are stained by oro that is oil, oil red o this was in general about the special stains now we'll be having a look at the stains used in cytogenetics this was the question asked to me in my viva i assume you all should at least know the names if not the examples so one easy method is g banding q banding and c banding three examples would be fair enough to get you through your exams but if you want to top the exams you should know the full form that's g banding ka dusra naam kya hai gtl banding uh, an example is the gimza staining q banding also known as qfq banding 
uh, it is using a quinacrine fluorosin stain all right fir dapi or distamicin a staining method is used especially for heterochromosomes like 1 9 15 16 and y chromosomes then we have c banding or cbl banding we have ag nor staining for satellite regions uh chromosome may polymorphism to find polymorphism in chromosomes we use ignor staining and the last one is non banding again used by gimza staining so these are the stains used in cytogenetics examples one again g banding q banding and c banding fair enough now this is one a uh, very rarely asked question but a very super important question in the in the sense what is ihc staining that is immuno histochemical stains immuno histochemical stains that is the ihc stains these are extremely important because they are used for to detecting cancer for classification of diseases and for genetic study of any particular disorder or disease and a few examples of the stains are i know the name is really weird but yeah you can remember rabbit m a b hashtag 13684 and pdl1 i just remember the uses of ihc staining if you can remember the examples you are amazing so the last question uh, i'll be taking in this um, video is the five main types of immuno staining techniques five main types of immuno staining techniques first your mbbs ka question hai it can be asked in your dmlt exams or for your in your micro so let's go through them one is the elisa e l i s a elisa is also known as enzyme linked immuno sorbent assay elisa second one is flow cytometry then we have immuno electron microscopy that is em immuno labeling uh then we have immuno histochemistry that is i c h na i h c immuno histochemistry right and last is the western blotting test test okay western blot so five main types of immuno staining techniques elisa western blot i h c flow cytometry so that's all for today's video